how's it going? We are in quarantine, right? And I'm sure all of us have done a face mask and we're all going through it. Hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy. I decided we would make a hair tutorial with no makeup on. Yes, no makeup. So I have a lot of acne and you know, I've never been proud of it, but I'd rather have you guys see me for who I am during this quarantine. I just want to um, go through my story a little bit. As a kid, growing up teenager years, I had really bad acne and I got really bad acne scars. So since this quarantine has happened, it's given me a lot of time to think and now I'm really bored and I really miss work and I miss my girls and so I decided I'm going to do like a blowout with some products I have never used before and so now I'm going to finally try these products. One is this one. It is high dive and it's a uh, very hydrating I guess so it can act like a, a leave-in conditioner and yes I just took a shower and my hair is washed with shampoo and conditioner so I'm going to blow dry it with this and then I'm going to straighten my hair with Arco Mood Swing Straightening Spray so that'll be nice to try as well so yes since we're in quarantine, I decided I wanted to make this video. And like I said, I'm going to do it with no makeup. Just, um, I'm going to take this mask off here in a second because my face really needed a break from makeup. So this is kind of nice for quarantine too. Just take that moment a time to not wear makeup. I'm probably worn makeup once since the 16th. And um, yeah, it's, it's going good. You know, it's a really good time to kind of like make sure check in with yourself and know what you're grateful for. Time to reveal my face. I think you have probably always seen me. I'm probably wearing makeup to cover up my face. It's very embarrassing sometimes, but you know, we all have something to be embarrassed of and even though we might have something to hide, it's okay to not always hide it. It's okay to be yourself. So here we go. Hello. And that is me. See, I got pretty bad scars all over here, all over here. So yeah, this is my face. It has quite a bit of acne all throughout, but hey, what is life about acne? So yeah, I'm going to just do this whole video just being true to who I am because I think there's so much social media that we see so many people makeup and stuff and I just wanted to be myself since, you know, I have nowhere to go and I'm not going to waste my makeup just to prove to you guys that I always look good and I don't think that's very healthy. Sometimes it's good to let go. It's only normal to have some flaws. Just trust me, I've been in the hair industry, not myself done photo shoots, but I've seen, um, I've done models and then I see all the blemishes that they remove off of it. So don't hide yourself. It's totally normal to have something. All right, okay, so let's get to this. I'm going to unwrap my hair. And a good way to um, towel dry your hair is by just using the towel like this. You don't want to go too vigorous on your hair because that can really snap your hair. You don't want to like, damage your hair. So by removing water before you blow dry, you want to remove as much water so then the product that like I'm going to use can really go into my hair and really absorb all that product. So I'm going in with this. And I'm putting a little bit in my hand, like so. I'm working it through my hand so it is really worked there. And then I like to start through the midst of my hair and kind of working it like just right there in the middle and then pull some up pull some through the bottom pull some through here and pull some through here that way I'm really working through and then kind of end up going towards the top and working all the way through and it smells really good by the way it's not like a very florally smell it's just like a, a really clean smell that it has. So I'm just going to work my comb through. I don't want to overuse my brush because it can really snap your hair. 
by overworking your ends because your hair is wet and when your hair is wet it tends to stretch because there's a lot of moisture and I just added moisture so don't overwork your hair with using a brush or comb or anything just so then your hair can stay healthy and less breakage that way. I have a little size travel blow dryer that I'm going to use with a nozzle. I always try and say use a nozzle. If you don't have a nozzle, that's okay. But if you have a nozzle, stick it right onto your blow dryer. <laughs> All right. And so how I'm going to blow dry it, I'm going to work this downwards. I never really want to push up unless I'm trying to get volume. But I want to keep my hair nice and smooth because we are straightening my hair today. So here we go. use my comb just a little bit just to make sure all the tangles were gone and they are and now I'm going to work through with my hands and then once it's about 90% dry then I will use my comb. The reason why I'm going to use my comb at 90% dry is because I don't want to overwork my hands and like I said it can cause a lot of breakage. So make sure your hair is 90% dry and that's where the comb will really come in and do its work. When it's not 90% dry, you're just going to be combing out your hair and really just making your hands tired. So here we go. to like I would say right now it's about 70% dry so I'm still gonna work my fingers through and as you can see when I'm blow drying I have a little bit of waviness to my hair and yes my hair is more on the wavy curly side and it gets really curly right around here um and my hair is very thick this is all 100% my real hair and yes it's a lot of work. Like if I want to keep it long and go through all the colors that I have gone through with my hair, I definitely got to do these steps to protect my hair and create softness through my hair so it can get very like hay-like feeling. So, so far that when it's already been dry, my hair actually feels really soft using the Arco High Dive. Um, so yeah, it seems like so far it's a really good brand, but let's keep on blow drying and see the finished product. Now that my hair is about 90% dry, now I'll be using my brush to help blow out any type of weightiness just so then it preps my hair so it's easier to strain faster. really dry so I am almost done drying and um, it's about like 9.5% dry because what it is is that this is all dry fit by my roots since my hair is so thick moisture it easily gets trapped in that's why for my personal use I don't like putting too much moisture by my scalp just because um, it locks in so much moisture already because of how much Hair I have so I that's why I put it more through here so whenever you think your hair feels the driest that's where you're going to put your moisturizer through mostly and apply it there so yep my hair feels super soft and I can't wait to strain it here in a second but I definitely want to make sure my roots are dry 
But since I am at 95% dry, I'm going to go grab my straightener and plug it in just so then it starts warming up. So once my hair is dry, it's going to be that perfect heat for straightening. All right, I just plugged in my straightener at um, 35 degrees. It can go all the way up to 50, but I like to start at 35 because you never want to go to the highest heat because you never know how hot her straightener could be or anything like that and you don't want to burn your hair so always start lower and you can always go higher with your heat so that's a really good tip for you to not get a video of you burning off your hair all right so like i said i still have a little bit of moisture still at my roots so i'm going to just work the blow dryer still through the root area and try not to get too much falling because as you can see when i'm just pointing my nozzle down i already get a lot of volume let's finish like this it has I believe a mister um, that's what it looks like from here um, so you want to like make sure you're holding it far enough away where it's not overly spraying your hair if you hold it too close it's going to make your hair redampen and it'll create too much of a product like feel through your hair and it will feel like just not very smooth once you're down straining it will just feel like a little bit overly product feel I don't know how to explain, but you just don't want to do that. So by using this far away, just go like this. Mm, it smells really nice. It smells like coconut. Mm, this is my first time using it. It actually smells really good. It should always smell good because it's like your final product. So I think this will be really good from anywhere from fine to thick hair. The reason why I say that is because sometimes I use oil in my hair. I would never suggest oil hair and fine hair because it'll create a really muddy feel for finer hair with thick hair. It can handle a lot of oil. But this is going to be really great for all hair types. And it just smells so good. It's going to be hard not to like want to spray a bunch in here. And then when I lift up half of my hair, I really want to make sure I'm getting all hairs. Okay. And then I'm going to use my brush and comb it all the way through, just so it's evenly through all my hairs to the ends. And you could tell, like, I didn't really spray it towards my roots. Like, then again, like, I don't want too much moisture or product buildup in my scalp because your hair is growing there and you don't want to apply too much products besides like shampoo or conditioner there okay mm. it smells so good like i'm already loving it and i haven't even tried it yet so let's make sure it works really well so starting where my curlies are since i did use a lower temperature i always suggest using lower temperatures right here so you have less breakage but you'll always have like those baby hairs that are right there so i'm just going to go in and straighten my hair i'm mostly pushing my hair sideways not wearing it in the part because i am about mm, i want to say 45 percent gray now like it's a white gray and it should be really pretty but um, I'm not ready to fully go that direction. I am definitely getting my hair color more to match that right now. So I'm doing less and less brown these days and slowly working that aspect out. But it's kind of an interesting combination that my gray is coming in with my, my brown hair still. And it's really white, so I might as well go 
put highlights all the way through so then my roots aren't so crazy feeling to me but everyone's different people are like oh look at that great girl but i'm like i haven't had kids yet we're going to wait till i have kids to learning that great go So I am going to turn up the heat a little bit. I'm just going to check around my ears real fast just to make sure I don't press the hottest heat around there. So making sure I get all those hairs nice and smooth before upping the tip on my straightener. That way I'm not burning off my hair and getting more breakage. It's always good to get the fronts too. Those seem to like always snap easily. All right, now that I got all my hairs that can easily snap, maybe check the ones underneath too. And give them those a good straighten. All right, now I'm going to engage my temp to a little bit above 35. I'm not going straight to 40 right off the bat. Just slowly moving up the heat and I'll kind of keep on adjusting it if I feel like it's not hot enough, but I like to really work my heat slowly. That way we don't burn any hair off. I like my hair nice and long, you know? So you gotta really, really take care of your hair the right way. All right. It feels so weird not to wear makeup for a video. I'm like, whew, you know, like, it's whatever. It's not a big deal, but it's a very vulnerable place right now to be posting this live on social media. But like I said, it shouldn't matter, right? We're all going through this. So hey, might have as well embraced everything that we're going through. really good way to straighten out your hair. You just want to dip your hair and go like this. It's a really good way. And then if your um, straightener is too hot and your hair is going to too hot, use a brush and pick up it and then you don't have to use your fingers. But I feel like it's not too hot on my fingers. So I'm just going to keep on doing it that way. There you have it. It is, my hair is so soft right now. I'm really liking this feel of my hair. It's a very light feeling. It doesn't feel like overly product or anything. It just feels super light. And I really enjoy the texture it gave my hair. So overall, I'm very impressed with the smells. Like, the moisturizer, I like that it wasn't a super heavy smell because you're going to be blow drying your hair for a while and you don't want it to be overly potent. If the straightening component is going to be, has more of a scent, it really works the two together because the um, moisturizer is not too fragrancy. This one, it, the high dive isn't so much fragrance and so it has a small smell so that smell really goes well with this coconut smell and this one's not too overly potent either so overall i give it a 10 out of 10 because um it's an amazing product and it's vegan um friendly and not tested on animals so those are the definite high pluses of that really make sure when you're starting to look into buying um, better products make sure you're getting your money's worth and not buying products with um that has been tested on animals and that's vegan um, friendly because that's what you should be paying for if you're paying a higher dollar sign for a really good product.
products and um, overall I think we should go in that category of not using ingredients on animals like there's so many animals out there that die because um, for us to have to look good so um, yeah definitely take that in consideration and being the change of the world I used to use a lot of products that and still have to sometimes use products and I'm not very proud about it so by allowing yourself to slowly change into that category of being more um, you know aware of what we're doing to this world is very important um, so yeah I think it's very important to start looking into what you're buying and reading about it not just picking up because people say to like I, I want to use products that I am proud about and and then some of my videos, I know some are animal tested and that's not very like awesome, but you know, it's just going to have to slowly change. So let's keep this earth awesome. And I'm sorry that everyone's going through life experience right now. And if you just need a little love, just you know, comment below and I will send some love to you. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing good in this and I hope this somewhat of a video just cheer some people up and just be beautiful for who you are and hopefully like by showing you that I'm not wearing makeup it shows that you know beauty and looks isn't everything but just treating yourself with a lot of love and caring for yourself is a really good thing too so I hope everyone has a wonderful day and let's just keep on supporting each other because we're all going through it. Bye guys thanks for watching if you love this video, please hit the thumbs up or a like because that helps my videos very much. And please subscribe. Thanks for watching. And if you are subscribing, thank you for keep on supporting me in that. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm Lady Von Barber. Bye, guys. Now treat yourself moment, here we go.